Hi, this is Vicki with My Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States, and today is my Saturday Fun Fold. How fun is that? Oh, I love it. Um, I believe this is called a double Z fold, and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Um, it's super easy to do. I'm using the Parisian Beauty stamp set. And all I'm doing is stamping. There's no dies or anything involved. It's just stamping. And it is just, it turned out so cute. And I'm really happy with it. Um, so without further ado, let's get started playing. I'm using thick Whisper White cardstock. It's cut at four and a quarter by 11. And it's scored at five and, no, five and a half and two and a quarter. Don't worry about that. All of the, the dimensions, the, the measurements, the sizes, the supplies, everything will be listed on my blog. So make sure you check that out. So I'm just going to go ahead and burnish this. And then you're just going to fold it backwards and then you're going to burnish it again. Then I brought in cherry, ch um, cherry cobbler. <laughs> I just went blank. I thought cherry blossoms, and I knew that wasn't right. Um, I believe this is 10 inches, and it's 3 inches wide, and 3, you score it at 3 and 6. No, it's 9 inches. So you score it 3 and 6. Again, all of that will be on my block. We're just going to burnish that. Turn it over and burnish this side as well. Okay. Then you have um, three pieces of designer series paper. And I wanted them to be different. I wanted them all to be different. And so, okay, did you notice that? I had these little fleur-de-lis and they're going that way on this side and they're going this way on this side. But they should be in this direction. So be mindful when you're placing your card stock down because you can't tell from this side. Just be mindful of what direction that your patterns are going in. This doesn't really make any difference one way or the other, but I didn't want to put the pool party color with the petal pink and the cherry cobbler. So um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down and then I'll get a little bit of my stamping done. I love fun folds. Um, I love to look at Pinterest. That's where I find a lot of the different fun folds. And um, I love trying them out and making them my own. Okay, I went ahead and adhered this front, front panel, and I was getting ready to adhere the rest of them. And what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> I'm so silly. Um, I realized that I, ha I don't know how I did it, but I ended up having the wrong size. So I brought this in, and this is the way this is going to go, okay? Okay. Um, Anyway, I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself with the wrong size that one of the other things that I like to do is to um, look at card sketches and see what people, like, there'll be a card sketch. It might have, like, black and gray and white pieces that will show you, okay, start out with um, your card base and then add a circle and then um, a ribbon. I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but anyway, it's it's a really fun thing to do to look at a blank one that's in black, black and gray and then add your own colors and sizes and just doing your own thing. I don't know if any of that made any sense, and I'm sorry if it didn't, but look how pretty that is. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is set that aside, and I have three two by three and a quarter square squares <laughs> and I'm going to stamp and I'm going to start out with life is a magnificent adventure and I'm going to use basic gray to do that so I'm just going to put it on the left hand side and then I got stuff everywhere just put this right about here now I'm using smoky slate and I have my Eiffel Tower and you can see how large it is and you can see how small that one is but you can still get the the idea that that's the Eiffel Tower so you're just going to ink it up part of the way and then you're just going to come down off of your paper now I want this to be up taller here and to kind of go up next to magnificent there so I'm just going to place it down like that and go off the paper 
and there you go. Isn't that cool? Then I'm going to come in with the little line of fleur-de-lis and bring that right about here. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. And then another one right here. Then I'm going to bring in my postage stamp cancellation line right there and then my actual postage right here. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then the next one I'm going to just place a little fleur-de-lis right down here in the bottom corner like that. Uh, no, I'm going to turn it over and do it again because that is a little crooked and I can do something about that. Okay, there, much better. Okay, now all we have to do is put it all together. So, the way this is going to work is you have one piece that's going to go here and one piece that's going to go there. So, you need to put your front on here. So, then we're just going to go ahead and glue that down. like this. Then your blank one, which is where you'll write your to, to so-and-so from so-and-so have great adventure, <laughs> is going to go right here in the middle like this. Try to make sure that your lines, okay, that's a little crooked there. Somehow I, know I got a little crooked. Okay. Uh, you ever have one of those days where you just, you just can't get it all together? Apparently, this is one of those days. This is my second video, and I struggled with getting the first one done. There you go. But the cards are so pretty. Even if I struggled getting them done, they're still so, so pretty. Okay, now, what I have found to be the easiest is you figure out where half of it is right here. I'm just going to put my finger there, and I'm going to go ahead and just glue that up like this. And then I'm going to put it where I want it to be, which is going to be about right in the middle. I want it to, I want it to be about the same distance here, and I want it the same distance top and bottom. So I'm just going to place it down right about there. And that looks like it might be, get this out of the way. That looks like it might be even. Okay. Then you just take this side and you go ahead and glue this, put glue on the back of it. You could use tear and tape too, but I'm just, I just choose to use glue. And then you just close it shut and then just press it like that. And that's as e that, that really is as easy as it gets. I mean, it's so super easy to make. Okay. Then I'm just going to put a few embellishments, if I can pick them up. Lately, I've been chasing them around everywhere, just like that. <laughs> Ugh. Go figure. Okay, I'm going to put one down here. I'm going to put another one. I don't usually have any trouble picking these up, and all of a sudden, it's this new thing that I can't pick up a, a rhinestone using my Take Your Pick tool, if my life depended on it, Harley. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if I need to clean the tip of my take your pick tool or what. There we go. And I'm going to place this right over here in the corner. And ta-da! That is it. It is done. And it is so cute. Isn't that just cute? Now, I, you can see this one is kind of standing up more than that one. It just needs to be burnished a little bit more. So just go along your edge like that and go along your edges here and it'll end up folding folding really well it'll settle a little bit more too but isn't that just the cutest I love it okay tell me what you think 
Um, I would love to hear your um, comments or questions. And if you choose to make one of these, I would love to see your version of it. So um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the, the little button and subscribe. And if you ring the bell, you'll get noticed when I have videos coming out. Um, if you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, let me know. My website will be at the top of the screen and I would love to get a catalog out to you. Um, and if you are not a demonstrator and you would like to become one, I would love to have you on my team as well. All right, I hope you have a great day.